Hey guys, welcome to the channel and in this video I will be explaining you one question on dynamic programming that is this disk starting question. Okay. So first I will explain you with the help of the example and after that I will show you how to code this. Suppose if we have given this disk in the form of the triplet where the first number represent the width, the second number represent the depth and the third number represent the height. Now what we need to do, we need to stack up this disk one above another like this <clears throat> but the only condition we need to follow is if we have two discs let's say d1 of width w1 depth d1 and height h1 and second disc as width w2 depth d2 and height h2 now what we need to follow is if we want to stack the disc d1 below d2 or d2 above d1 that condition we need to satisfy is w2 should be less than w1 strictly less than w1 d1 uh, d2 should be strictly less than d2 and s2 should be strictly less than h1 so these are the condition we need to satisfy and when we stack up this disk then the after end the height which we get should be maximized so this height we need to maximize along with that we need to satisfy this condition of width depth and height so now let's see how to solve this question <clears throat> as i sh showed you in the example that we have given this disk stacks in the form of w d and h so first step we need to do is we need to short this on the basis of their height why we are shorting this because at the end what we gonna do is we can use the two pointer method along with the dynamic programming to solve this question so for using the two pointer method our height should be in the shorted order so when we short this on the basis of a, a basis of their height <coughs> then we got like this we got 2 to 1 2 1 2 and then we have 3 2 3 then we have 2 3 4 then we have 4 4 5 and at last we have 2 2 8 so we short this on the basis of on the basis of height okay after shorting this on the basis of height what we are going to do is we are using two pointers or two variables we start our i from the first location and we start our j for each iteration of i from the beginning of the array until i okay so when j reaches i we break the j loop and increment our i so initially we are at here the condition we need to check is if w of i is strictly greater than w of j and d depth of i is strictly greater than depth of j and height of i is strictly greater than height of j so if this condition is satisfied then we need to update our array which we call it as memo so why we are keeping this memo is because we need to keep track of the height we got up to that particular location which we are currently at okay so initially what we are doing is we are creating one memo array of the size equal to the disks which we have given so here we have given six disks so we created a array of size six and we initialize it with the height of that particular disk only because as we know that with the help of one disk the maximum height we got is the height of that disk only so we initialize this memo array with the height of that particular disk now when we are here i is here and j is starting from the initial we check this condition this condition is not satisfied here <coughs> as true is not as this true is not strictly less than this true so what we need to do we need to increment j but when we increment j it reaches this i so the loop is terminated and we increment our i to this location so when we increment our i j is again initialized to the starting location here we check that 2 is less than 3 okay 2 is less than 2 this is not possible so what we need to do we need to increment our j here when we check the condition 2 is less than 3 yes 1 is less than 2 yes and 2 is less than 3 so this condition is satisfied so what we need to do we need to update this memory location and so for updating this memory location what we need to do we need to take maximum of we need to take maximum of what is already present at this memory location i 
और व्हाट इज प्रेजेंट इन मेमोरी लोकेशन जे प्लस हाइट ऑफ दिस आई टू दैट मीन्स दिस हाइट दिस हाइट सो व्हाट वी गेट इज व्हाट एवर इज ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट इज थ्री एंड मेमो ऑफ जे इज टू प्लस हाइट ऑफ दिस इज थ्री सो दिस वैल्यू इज फाइव सो दिस वैल्यू इज अपडेटेड विथ फाइव ओके After that, what we need to do? We need to increment j, and when we increment j, it reaches our guy. So we need to break this loop. Okay. After that, what we need to do? We need to increment our i th index to the next location. So when i is incremented to the next location, it reaches here, and j is again starting from the starting location. So let me quickly fill out this table. This two is not less than two, so we need to increment our j. This two is not less than two. Increment our j. Two three is Not less than this two, so we need to increment our j and it reaches i. So what we need to do? We need to increment our i to the next location here. So here we check that two is less than two, two is less than four, and one is less than five. So this value five is updated with five or maximum of one plus five, which is six. So this value is updated with six, and j is incremented to the next location. Here we check that. All the three values is less than corresponding values. Then what we need to do? We need to update this value with either six or maximum of two plus five, which is seven. So this value is updated with seven. And after that, increment j to the next location. We check that three is less than four, two is less than four, and three less than five. This also satisfies the condition. So this value seven is updated with five plus five, which is ten, because maximum of seven and ten is ten. And after that, j value is incremented to the next location. So here we check that two is less than four, three is less than four, and four is less than five. So all are less than with the corresponding values. So this value is updated with maximum of ten, or four plus five, which is nine. So it's ten only. And after that, increment j. So it reaches i. Break this i loop and increment our i to the next location. So i value is incremented here, <coughs> and j is again starting from the start location. Now, two is not less than two, so this condition violates. So increment j. Again, two is not less than two, violate this condition. Increment over j. This two is not less than two, increment j. Two is not less than two, increment j. And four is not less than two, so increment j. It reaches i, and i is also terminates. Okay. So what we got is effectively in this memo map. we found out that up to that memory location what is the maximum height possible considering that many stacks okay now we got our memo array completed so for finding the actual maximum height possible we are iterating in this array from starting to end and check that what is the maximum height we got we got the maximum height of 10 so we can stack this disk that only that we got a maximum height of 10 so answer for this question is 10 now let's analyze time and space complexity the first step we need to do is the short on the basis of their height which takes o of n log n time if we are n disk after that we are iterating two loop i n j which effectively time o of n square so overall time complexity is o of n square because this is bigger than this so time complexity is o of n square and we are taking an extra array of size n which is equal to number of uh number of disks so overall space complexity is o of n so now let's look at the code and try to get it here what we have we have taken the six disk which i showed you in the example also and we call this function disk stack stacking in which we are passing this disks so uh, just remember one thing i have take vector of vector the internal vector represent this three numbers triplets okay so this is vector of vector as an input <coughs> now this is the compare function which we used in this short method which is present in the algorithm library now what this compare method does it it take two arguments vector v1 v2 and it short this vectors on the basis of the second indexed element that is height okay 
and we have created one memo array to keep track of the heights which we got up to that point. So this is used for basically uh, DP dynamic programming method and this sorting is basically used so that we can use the two pointer method. After this we are initializing our memo with the initial values that is the height of the particular disk because with the help of one disk only we got a height of that disk only. So this is initialization. Okay, after that <clears throat> we are iterating our i from 1 to n and j from 0 to i. For each iteration of vi, we are again starting our j from the starting location and we are checking that all the three things, the width, the depth and the height of j is less than i, then in this case simply in change our memo of i to maximum of whatever is already present in that or maximum of memo of j plus the height of the i. So this value is updated accordingly as I showed you in the example also. And this thing choose the maximum element or maximum height present in this memo and we are returning this height. So this is a simple question which takes O of n square time and it takes off any space because of the memo which we have taken. So hope you got this question. This was a very cool problem of dynamic programming. So it this question resembles the maximum increasing subsequence like that because in that also we are taking two iterations, two loops and we are creating one memo array. So this is same like that. So if you find any difficulty, feel free to comment and I will help you. Thank you.